Rajdeep, you follow Maharashtra politics so closely. Do we know if Ashok Chavan has indeed resigned and is his next move with the BJP? What uh, top sources uh, are telling me, Nabila, is that Ashok Chavan has submitted his resignation as an MLA uh, to the Speaker Rahul Narvekar. Um, and uh, the next step possibly could be Mr. Chavan joining hands with the BJP. That second step has not yet been confirmed. But given what the track record of MLAs who have been switching from the uh, Congress, their options are e either the NCP Ajit Pawar group, uh, the Shinde Sena, or the BJP. Uh, Ashok Chavan was eyeing possibly uh, 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 a combination with the BJP. Remember, he is uh, the son of the former chief, late chief minister of Maharashtra, Shankar Rao Chavan, himself has been a chief minister and has a, a, a reasonable stronghold in Nanded district in Marathwada. So along with him, there are suggestions that if he leaves, he's leaving with at least four to five MLAs considered close to him. So in that sense, this would be a far bigger setback uh, to the Congress than previous MLAs leaving. You won't just have an individual leaving, but he will be leaving as part of a group, uh, Nabila. He will be leaving as a group, will be taking three to four MLAs with him. That's, that's the real news headline here, Rajdeep. Uh, what does it do to the Congress in Maharashtra? They're already on a weak wicket. Uh, and we also know what's happened to the Udav Thakre's Sena, to uh, Sharad Pawar's NCP. The Congress now seeing uh, a lack of strength. Uh, yes, you know, the, the Congress is the, uh, is the party now very vulnerable in states like Maharashtra, uh, where, uh, remember, uh, even opinion polls have suggested the opposition has more than an even chance of winning uh, Vidhan Sabha elections. This is one of the few states where our mood of the nation poll actually put the opposition ahead of the BJP. But what has happened in Maharashtra is that... Uh, uh, all these three parties in this alliance, the Uddha Bahasai, Thakre Sena, the uh, Sharad Pawar, NCP and the Congress are vulnerable. So far, the BJP has targeted primarily the NCP and the Uddhav Sena and a number of their MLAs have left. Now, if Ashok Tawan leaves, that's the first sign that the Congress uh, and its 44 MLAs are also now vulnerable ahead of the, not just the Lok Sabha, but the Vidhan Sabha elections that will be held later this year. The BJP is very keen to consolidate itself in Maharashtra. It's the one state where they are concerned because, remember, they got 42 out of 48 Lok Sabha seats and most opinion polls like Mood of the Nation have suggested they could take a double digit hit here. So by enticing even Congress leaders to join, you're spreading the perception that this is a completely sinking ship and thereby take the uh, political advantage. So if, if indeed... Uh, as we are being told, Ashok Savan is leaving the party to join the BJP. It will be a huge boost to the BJP and a major setback to the Congress. But we're still trying to understand what really has led to Ashok Chavan's decision. He's, uh, he seemed, like, and like you rightly said, he's, uh, his family has been loyal to the Congress party. They've got meaty roles. He's been the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. He's perceived to be a heavyweight within the Congress in Maharashtra. So what was lacking? What was the reason for him to resign as an MLA itself? Nabila, one, in one simple word, power. Uh, the fact is that a number of uh, MLAs in Maharashtra from the Congress have been in out of power now for almost a decade, barring that one period when Uddhav Thakre was Chief Minister uh, of about 18 months. So many of them are feeling completely lost without power. Many of them in a state like Maharashtra need to uh, need power to control a district, like in the case of Ashok Savan Nanded. Plus, Ashok Savan has felt that the party high command, in his view, in recent times, has not always uh, uh, given him his due. Uh, this is a complaint that we see across uh, Congress units that there is infighting, factionalism, uh, a lack of communication with the high command. These are familiar excuses. But I think in the case of Mr. Savan. Uh, himself a Maratha, uh, someone who uh, uh, has, a, uh, has a district which he can control, he becomes a prize catch for the BJP. So there's a, uh, uh, there's a pull factor. And the push factor is, a, is the truth that uh, leaders like Ashok Sawan believe that in the Congress at the moment, uh, they are uncertain about whether they can return to power. So in that situation, if the BJP gives them an attractive option, uh, many of them are looking at it seriously.
Wow, this is, uh, this is huge, but it also would lead to enough insecurities within the BJP itself. If you look at the NDA alliance there, uh, Rajdeep, we're seeing a faction of the Shiv Sena. We are seeing a faction of the NCP. Now you have a big heavyweight like Ashok Chavan joining hands. So all of them are there for power. How, how is the BJP really uh, in intending to soothe all their egos and, and ensure that they're all given a, a comfortable place? Look, Nabila, at the moment, the BJP is a political party on the offensive. They are looking ahead of the Lok Sabha elections to simply dominate the political space. So if there are any opposition leaders who they feel can weaken the opposition and strengthen their ranks, they're happy to induct them at this stage. They're not making any promises as to what positions they will be given. But the BJP's sole purpose in states like Maharashtra now is weaken the opposition, especially the Congress, to the point where it appears completely de demoralized and then take full advantage of that. I repeat, Maharashtra is the one state where the BJP has been concerned for a while that uh, the, their uh, alliance uh, that they've stitched together versus the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi opposition alliance, uh, they haven't been able to completely dominate the state. So when they break the Shiv Sena, break the NCP, wean away Congress MLAs, they are hoping that this will eventually lead to total domination of the state. Whether that will happen, the Vidhan Sabha elections will suggest, but the very fact that they are going for and, and, and enticing leaders like Ashok Savan as well suggests that at the moment the BJP is clearly in a predatory mood. They want to capture as much of the opposition space as possible. Okay. So, Rajdeep, this is going to come as a massive jolt for, uh, for the Congress party. Uh, we, in fact, did meet with Ashok Chavan very recently at the conclave, India Today conclave in Hyderabad. You were there too, uh, where Ashok Chavan was very much present with all the other Congress leaders. Uh, Salman Khurshid and he were having a nice hearty chat. So even until as recent as two months ago, Ashok Chavan was, uh, seemed very loyal to the Congress uh, leadership. So this has come as a real absolute shocker. Well, well, you know, it has been for the last two years, there have been these periodic rumors that could a leader like Ashok Sawan quit? Remember, he had stepped aside as Maharashtra Congress chief. A new generation of Congress leaders was being propped up. Uh, Ashok Sawan, in that sense, for a while has been feeling left out. Yes, you're right. In Telangana, he had been sent as one of the observers. But you get a sense that over the last couple of years, like a number of Congress leaders, uh, that generation that Ashok Sawan belongs to, the 65-plus generation of senior citizens, if I may call it, they feel that uh, they don't have the same communication channels to the new Congress or the younger Congress and feel that uh, the Rahul Gandhi Congress, if I may call it, has less space for, for leaders like Ashok Sawan and they're encouraging new faces in Maharashtra. So... At one level, you could even call this as some kind of a generational clash, uh, Nabila. Uh, but I think the main reason is uh, the, the fear that congressmen have that they will be in, uh, they will face another extended period right. out of power. All right, Rajdeep, thanks very much for joining us on that.